everybody, this is Taz. Welcome back to Taz's Way Closet. We've got a brand new style release to show you today. This is Renee of Paris's Wyatt in a brand new color called Watermelon R. We're gonna unpack this brand new style and color coming up. I purchased Wyatt with my own funds from Wig Studio One. Expand the description box below where you'll find a link to this particular style. And also there is an automatic coupon code at this time for 30% off at checkout. If you have any question for us, please reach out to support at wigstudio1.com and from any product page on the website, you can scroll down, hit the help button for an automatic live chat. Renee of Paris continues to dazzle us again this year with brand new high fashion style releases and colors. So Wyatt is a short, kind of cropped, textured, wavy bob style. I love, absolutely love this length. But let's break down this color first. I know we're all anticipating this watermelon R. The fashion shades that are coming out recently are getting so well done. Um, just really bursting onto the mainstream scene. I mean, I can wear this color every single day, yet it's a fashion pink. So it starts with like a pastel pink, and then within that, you'll see a darker pink, almost a magenta. And the combination of the two, I almost see like a peachy pink in there as well. And all of that is on a soft brown root. That rooting is more warm in tone, but it's not a harsh, deep brown like we sometimes can see. I think they did this color just right. And the pastel pink that's in there almost gives a little bit of a frosted or a silvery cast to it. It makes it very light, bright, extremely wearable. So what do you think of this watermelon R? And the style is actually really growing on me as well. Of course, you know me, I love my short wavy bob styles. This style So let's talk about the dimensions here because that helps us understand how wearable it's going to be for us. So the front pieces are around five inches. So that five inch piece is gonna sweep around the eyebrow. Now, the, it's very easy to sweep it over the eyebrow and keep it out of the eyes. It, it's not so heavy as if to want to rush in uh, over the eyes. You could sweep it off to either side. And I'm imagining you could probably part it in the middle if you wanted as well. So right now I've got it swept from left to right. And it just moves right back into the style. Now the crown area is around nine inches and there's a three inch nape. You're gonna see a subtly stacked back and that crown overlaps the back a little bit. So it does have some nice wavy texture kind of hanging out there. It gives it a nice wedge look. The nape is ample coverage. It weighs around three ounces and it's a completely open cap style. So it is very lightweight. Um, I'm not even noticing that this is on. It just, it feels like air on my head. So I do want to give you some caution right out of the box. Uh, right out of the box, this fit very large on me. I'm not used to that with Renee of Paris. They're more average. It used to be in the old days, they were more petite average. Then they became more average. This particular one is average. I had to cinch in the adjusters as far as they could go to get a secure fit. So not only is it a little bigger in terms of circumference, but it's also a little bigger in all of the other measurements as well. That results in a very baggy crown area for me. Now, everybody's head is shaped a little bit differently. Um, I just happen to have a nice petite average circumference and everywhere else is average, so I typically can get a nice secure fit. Uh, but on certain caps, I end up with some bagginess there. I mean, I could literally put my fist right up underneath that cap area. <laughs> um, it doesn't bother me so much, you know, if, if I went to itch my head or something and somebody was watching, they would say, wow, what, what was that? But um, 
it really doesn't bother me a whole lot just because when you have a little bit of bagginess at the crown, it just gives a little bit of profile there. Let's talk about this curl pattern. So it's a wave. Um, you've got more beachy waves in the back. It's a little more smooth at the crown. What you want to know about this is that it has been highly texturized, especially at the ends. That's going to relieve it of some of the body that you're going to find, but it's also going to give you an amazing light density. Um, so you'll see lots of texturizing. It's been taken down a lot for a nice wispy light appeal. This wig also just has a moderate amount of permatease. So it's not online with Noriko. Uh, Noriko tends to be very heavy handed on permatease. This is just a nice average amount. There's enough that you can get some lift and some good coverage. If you wanted to do a nice ear tuck as you see me doing here, it's very easy and natural looking to do that. And then one more note on the permatease. There's plenty of fiber on the top that you can just kind of pinch up and obscure all of that permatease. I am not looking down into a nest of permatease here. So I think they did a very nice job at obscuring the permatease on the top. So this wig is right out of the box. All I did was shake it out, I applied it, and I kind of used my fingers just to kind of set the fibers free from the cap. And this is exactly what it looks like. Right out of the box. And I always just naturally kind of want to tuck there behind my left ear. So let's try with glasses. You all know that I love my reader glasses from readers.com. I just got into a new pair. I couldn't help it. Um, it's like jewelry for the face, a little bit of an exciting accessory. They're constantly coming up with brand new styles. Um, I'm amazed at how many options they have. And then they have a ton of power options as well. All the lenses are fully magnetic unless you get the bifocals. So um, right now I'm at a 1.75, a plus 1.75 on the power that I would typically wear. And I just, there's no shortage, shortages of options for those powers. So the set that I want to show you though is called the Millie. It's a three piece set. So if you're like me, I end up, um, pulling, putting the glasses on top of my head and then they're falling off if I look over and I don't want them to fall in the toilet or the sink. Um, and so I found a set that has a strap. So the Millie is a cat eye lens and it has this blue beaded strap on it. And it also comes with a protective case. So this is why I love these. I feel like my old librarian, you know? With the beaded with the beaded strap um, but how easy is that so you can go from room to room and not worry about it um, misplacing them um, sometimes I end up with two and three pair on top of my head because I forget where I put them <laughs> this solves all of that um, so looking at it with Wyatt it's absolutely fine uh, beautiful between the ear and the ear tab it's comfortable to wear glasses so if I'm a librarian, I'm a very hip librarian with this beautiful pink hair. 
<laughs> and so I, I love, I love my Millie set. Thanks for joining me today. We'll see you next time on Taz's Wing Closet at Wing Studio One.